let's talk about tarot cards, also called tarot cards. Now, here at my house, my boyfriend is Mark Edward, who's a mentalist. And so we have oodles of tarot cards in the house. Some he's even designed. And these cards are beautiful in a lot of cases. They're an art form. It's something that is uh, has a lot of visuals on it. And it's supposed to represent certain things. So, for example, the card that's death. Hollywood makes it sound like it's a death card, like you're going to die. But actually, the death card is supposed to mean change, like the end of something and the beginning of something else. Okay. Nobody decided that the death, I mean, somebody decided that the death card was going to mean that. It doesn't mean that the piece of paper that the person is holding has any power. It's It's just a card. It's just a piece of paper. And somebody could just, color it in and put something else on top of it and it just means something else tarot is a skill in storytelling it's cold reading one person reading another person usually this is typical across a table turning the cards you know they touch the cards they shuffle the cards they put them in piles and as they turn over the cards the the cards are revealed to have images on them and the person who's the medium or the psychic is interpreting what those images on the cards say. They're just pieces of paper. And it could be anything. They could be blank. They could have, uh, they could be playing cards. They could be Uno cards. They could be bones, chicken bones. They could be dice. They could be uh, pieces of tile thrown on the ground. It could be pretty much anything. Zinner cards. It's it's a method. It's a storytelling method. And the more that a psychic does these readings, the more skilled they get at telling stories and telling the person that they're talking to what they feel like they need to hear or want to hear. Again, it's cold reading. You're looking right at the person in a lot of cases and you can watch their, you know, like if they nod or if they look confused or if they look concerned or if they lean forward or if they lean back or they cross their arms. I mean, it's exactly the same with um, almost all kinds of psychics. You're just reading the person and the cards, the piece of paper that's in front of you. They're just pieces of paper that are used to help you tell stories. Now, I'm going to show you this game my kids got me for Christmas one year, Dixit. Okay. And what this is a uh, does is it's a game about storytelling. And um, I'm not the greatest storyteller. I love stories, but I'm not the greatest storyteller. I don't have, I don't think I have the imagination a lot of people do. What what this does is it comes with these cards and the cards have this beautiful artwork on them and on the cards they have these designs that are meant to help people tell stories i'm sure there's people who write or creative writing classes and so on they use something like this to help you I don't know, get the juices going or something, creativity juices to get you help tell a story. And as you look at these, maybe you can see that there's a lot of different little nuances to it that you can see what you want to see. If you have something happening, if you were to use something like this in the case of a, a tarot reader and you, you as the psychic want to talk about some aspect like maybe these, I don't know, these could be letters. Could they be uh, clutter in your life? Um, is this a like a coffee grinder? Is this a person looking out the window for a certain reason because morning is coming and change is happening in your life? Depending on what the, the psychic wants to say to the person who's being read, um, you know, all kinds of things. This could invoke royalty. It could invoke somebody maybe feeling like they're on parade or 
um, that someday they're going to be in um, a celebrity of sorts or just a regular person is going to end up turning out to be very special to you in your life. Could be, you know, people are all wound up and you need to relax. You see what I'm saying? Depending on what it is you're talking to the person about or whatever you want to say, you can come up with pretty much any story that you want. This is a candle. This is the candle. I guess that's smoke above the top and it kind of looks like it's dripping blood. And then this one is like houses that are made of eggs or eggs made of houses. <laughs> um, here's a flower with petals coming off and there's cracks in the ground. And here's a city in the clouds going over. So if you want to be a good storyteller, these kinds of cards can help you. In it's a skill. You practice and you talk and you and you use these as a device to be able to give a psychic reading to your friend. Now I'm not, you know, you guys know me. I'm I'm not into the psychic stuff, but I find it really interesting. I I find the psychology of it fascinating. And I don't really have a problem with tarot and storytelling and and talking to people about what's going on in their lives. Some people just need to have something said to them. Like you keep making very bad decisions with the people in your life and you trust people too much. Or, you know, you keep saying that you're going to get this thing done and you're always talking about how you're going to get this thing done. This card is telling you to get it done. This is saying that it is time that for you to stop making excuses. It's... <laughs> It's just a, it's just a story element. It's, um, you know, if you have, if you want to tell somebody that they um, are, you know, really bad at showing up on time and, and that they have a, a problems, you know, people don't feel respected because they're always late every time you go out to lunch or whatever. Well, this card is telling me to tell you, it's trying to tell you that, you have to have respect for your friends when they say show up at this time. You need to make a good effort to show up at this time because they're tired of you being late all the time. Get it? It's anything. It's anything you want to say, can you just find a way of saying it with the card. But these are pieces of paper and so are tarot cards. They're just manufactured paper. Same with the Ouija board. Same with all that. It's just paper. There's no power in this. There's no special juju power in these cards. Whenever you lay them out, there's nothing there. Everything is inside the psychic telling the story. And then the sitter on the other side is giving feedback, encouraging the reading to go the way they want it to and and helping them. It's two people working together to make this feel relevant to the person who's getting the reading. But these pieces of paper are just paper, just like just like with a Ouija board. They're they're nothing, nothing, manufactured pieces of pulp. I hope that was clear. <laughs>